Hey guys, Shepard here again with another video from Terra Online. Surprisingly, today we are going to be talking about something a little bit different. I've just started my channel, as you know, it's a Terra only channel, and the game hasn't even come out yet, it's in beta. So, my plan for the channel is basically to do tutorial videos for now, as I can't really get that much footage because obviously I can only play three days every two weeks, and I can't record everything I do because one, I don't have the hard drive space to do that, and two, it would take me hours to go through it all and find what I need. So what I do at the moment is I think up ahead of time what I want to record and then I get it on the weekend while I'm leveling up and trying to get to level cap. So it's been a bit problematic to get actual footage of PvP, PvE and stuff like this because I don't really have the time at the moment to do both. So when the game comes out I actually have a few things in store. One, I'm obviously going to be covering the game as much as possible. So I'm going to be concentrating on PvE, PvP, the Vanox system, I'm going to be covering everything, so you don't need to worry about that. But also what I'm going to do is I want to do weekly series. So I have two in mind, but today we're only going to be talking about the first one, because I can actually do this now before release. So this series is basically going to take a thread from the forum, and I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to discuss it, I'm going to think about what how I feel about it, and I'm going to explain why I feel this way. So today, I was in the middle of editing another tutorial video when I checked the forum. So I saw this thread that caught my eye and I started reading into it. And I want to know what you guys think about this because personally, I don't really like the idea as long as they don't go too far with it. But at the same time, there's already some implications into it which are actually going to piss me off a little bit. So <laughs> I'm going to explain the thread and I'm going to explain why I feel this way. So I really want to do this every week because one, you guys get to learn information if you don't check the forums and two, I get to express how I feel about the game and the way that it's going and also you get to tell me how you feel because I want to know that as well. As this is going to be kind of the first episode, I actually don't have a name for this series so I kind of want to know and if you have a name for it then put them in the comments below and uh, thanks in advance because I'll be using one of these names. So down to today's topic. The topic in hand is this one, as you can see on screen, which is K-Terra introduces premium item shop. So, before we get all qq in about crazy stuff, saying it's only K-Terra, at the moment, yeah, it is only K-Terra. However, as we know, the development teams are pretty much the same, and we are incorporating everything which has happened in K-Terra so far. So, it looks like this may happen here, but they may, maybe, just testing it out in K-Terra, and if it doesn't go down well, then they may scrap it here, and it might not come out. Let's get down to this. Premium item shop. What it is, is basically, it's a microtransaction store. So for those who don't know what a microtransaction store is, it's basically incorporated in free-to-play games. So obviously, Terra isn't a free-to-play game. We have to pay a subscription, which is why this is kind of strange. In other games, they don't make money from subscriptions, so they make money from in-game items such as mounts, pets, and other stuff like this. The, the thing where this goes wrong in many games is where it's it's not pay to play, it's pay to win. So you have to pay real money for items in the game which give you an advantage over other players. So for example, say I was playing this MMO where it's free to play and it's got a microtransaction store and they have this sword. And this sword is overpowered, it's better than the other weapons, but I have to pay for it. That's where this system gets broken because it's no longer an option. You know what I mean? If you're playing the game to be the best, you have to buy this item to actually succeed and be better than other players. Which means that you have to buy it. I mean, which is just stupid because you're playing a free-to-play game. If you want to play it, you play it. You don't pay for it. So if you have to pay for items, it's just kind of broken in my opinion. So as I said, I'm getting a kind of a little bit ahead of myself here because one, this is only K-Terra. Hasn't been announced here yet, but it could definitely come out here as we've seen with other patches with the Rift system and all this. I mean, the Nexus system, sorry. So at the moment, they've actually announced six items that I will show you in a second. These items are all cosmetic. They don't actually help you in the game in any way apart from maybe one. So it's not necessary to actually buy these to get better at the game. It's not a sword like I explained earlier which will just go around killing everything. So you don't actually need to buy them. So now I'm going to show you the six items that they have actually released to us. And these are all cosmetic 
bar one. So first we have the pirate eye patch, and I personally think this is pretty jokes because who doesn't want an eye patch? Let's be honest. It just looks sick. If you could get two of them and have one on each eye, that'd just be mad jokes. But I don't think it's gonna happen. Anyway, so this this pirate eye patch, okay, it is about two euros. However, like other microtransaction stores, once you bought it, you don't actually own it forever, okay? So these two euros that you pay actually only give you the eye patch for 30 days, right? And then it just disappears. So this is kind of weird because the microtransaction store is all right in a free-to-play game, in my opinion, because obviously they're not making an income anywhere else. So they can they, they need to get money, otherwise the game's just going to die off. So they need to get money through the microtransaction store. Whereas Terra... We're paying for the subscription, so it's like they are getting money anyway, regardless of this store. So when they add this store, I feel like they're trying to just get loads of money off us. Which is alright, because I know that people have excess money to spend and it's fine to buy stuff if they want their character to look better. But then to come out and say, you only have it for 30 days, it's just... They're just trying to steal the money, man! This is just insane, in my opinion, it's crazy. But then they take it one step further, and, and they say, oh, you can have it for 365 days a year, obviously, for three euros. So you either pay for 30 days, one month, for two euros, or you pay for 12 months for three euros. So everyone's obviously going to do the three euro thing. So it's kind of a bit, you know, they're, they're forcing you, not forcing you to buy them, obviously, because they're cosmetic items and most of the people won't buy them. But if you do want to buy them, then you're kind of stupid to take the 30 day option. You might as well buy the year option. Moving on, the other items, they are glasses. So here we have the black glasses, which, yet again, which is glasses. We have the sapphire blue glasses, which are the same glasses, they're just different colour. Then we have ruby. And then we also have the emerald green glasses. So as you can see, there's nothing really, these are just recolored. So once you bought one, you don't really need the other. It's just if you want to change the color or whatever. And all these glasses are actually the same price. They're two euros for 30 days or they're three euros for a year. So next we actually have the glasses collection where you can get all the sets of the glasses for six euros for 30 days or nine euros for a year. So yet again, it's just cosmetic items. So I have no problem with this. I mean, if people want to spend their money to make their character look better, if they want these glasses, then that's all cool. So this next item is pretty much the one thing which makes me not really like this system. Because, as I said many times now, because I was raging slightly, I am fine with the cosmetic items because you don't have to buy them. If you don't want them, you just like fucking turn your head and you don't buy them. Whereas with this nightmare horse, it's kind of different. As you can see on screen, it looks proper sick, so you'd want to buy it. But it's 16 euros, which isn't too much, for a year. But what it is, is that it's a 270% mount, okay? And we actually don't get those in Terra until level 60, where we get them for free, okay? So it's like, if they haven't released anything about this, because it's obviously it's in Korean, I don't read Korean, I wish I could read Korean, but I don't read Korean. So it, we don't know if there's a level cap on it. Maybe we could use this mount at level 10. That's where it's kind of broken, to be honest, because if people ain't getting it to level 60, then they're forcing you to pay to get it early. And that's not cool, in my opinion. So I want to know what you guys think about this, because the forum thread has got out of control. I mean, it's only been up two or three hours now, and it's already got 104 replies. And there's many mixed opinions. There's people saying, oh, yeah, it's a wicked idea. Like, I love it. I want to spend more money in Terra. There's people saying, oh, I don't really like it, but it's fine because it's cosmetic only items. And then there's people just raging, saying they're going to quit the game and stuff. Personally, I don't really like it, but I'm not going to quit the game because I really like the game. I want to play the game a lot. So the next bit I want to go into is pretty much a follow up of what this shop is going to do, which is pretty much these things called TCAT coins. OK, so we don't really know about these in Europe or in North America because obviously we haven't got too far into the game yet but in Korea they have these things called TCAT coins so what they are is they're like a reward system for when you resub to the game or when you do a server transfer or when you do stuff like um, race change like cosmetic surgery <laughs> so what happens is you get these coins so for example when we resub you actually get 200 of these coins so some of the things which you can actually buy with these TCAT coins are actually game changing, okay? Not too much, they're not like, oh my god, you're gonna get to max level instantly and stuff like this, but they actually do affect competitive play. So, the bad thing which this store has is that at the moment, everyone is getting the same amount of these TCAT coins because, for example, if I resub and you resub, 
we're both going to be playing the game, obviously. We both get 200 coins, so everyone's uneven. It doesn't matter. But what happens with this new store is, every time someone buys the glasses, they get 22 extra TCAT coins. For example, if I buy the mount, I get 304 coins. So that is pretty much a month and a half extra worth of these coins. So you might be thinking, oh no, he's got extra virtual coins. But what it actually translates into is that they can buy more items which actually are game changing. So some of the stuff they can actually buy with these TCAT coins are 12 hours playtime crystal protection. So as you know, when you die, you actually lose crystals from your weapon and stuff. But you can actually have 12 hours playtime protection against this. So if you're trying to farm hard mode dungeons, you're running for like world first and stuff, which I'm guessing most of us ain't gonna be, but obviously some people are, then this is like a necessity. You kind of need this because you don't want to have to keep going to the vendor and buying all these fucking crystals and shit and putting them in. You, you just want to sit there and just murk it out. You want to do it as fast as possible and stuff like this. So paying for this is kind of, I mean, it's not like game changing as I keep saying, but it actually does affect progress. So the next thing is these special ceiling scrolls. So I actually don't know what these do. <laughs> because I can't translate Korean. So if someone can and can actually post that in the comments, then that would be sweet. So basically these scrolls would normally cost you 2 million gold, but now you can buy them for 10 coins. So the problem I see with this item is that you can actually buy it with real money effectively because obviously you just buy the glasses or you buy the mount and then you can just buy the items and then you can sell them. So it screws up the economy, which is one thing. But yeah, as I just said, it is pretty much gold selling. You are buying gold with real money. So, we shall see. So, I have nothing against the system as I've said. I just hope that they don't go down this line of you need to buy this item to be better than the rest. Because that, in my eyes, will completely break the game and it will just, yeah, it'll just ruin the game, man. I mean, I really like this game because it's so original in what it's doing with this like FPS-ish aim system with your spells and your abilities. It's not like any other MMO where you just spam one to four all the time. So I really want to keep playing it and I am going to keep playing it regardless. But I just hope for the sake of the game that they do not go down the pay to win route. So guys, thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my opinion slash insight on how I feel about this shop and hope I didn't deafen anyone by my raging. I want to know what you guys think. Like, I'm really eager to see how the community feels about this because obviously there's 10 pages worth of posts on the forum and it's such a mixed decision on how they feel and I just really want to know how people feel about it so post in the comments below also if you have a name for this series where I take a forum post and talk about it or if you have a forum post that you think I should cover then send me a PM on YouTube or on the forum and I'll do my best to find an opinion <laughs> and uh, talk about it so close beta 4 is actually this weekend for me so I will be fraps in loads of stuff. I actually really want to get some PV footage and I'm probably going to be doing a dungeon guide of the new dungeon which I believe is called Cultist Refuge. That's what it's called anyway, that's what I'm going to call it. So yeah, subscribe for more videos and I will see you guys soon.